look at the success of UK Uncut, which organised against uh, tax avoidance, the refusal of some of the biggest companies and wealthiest people in our society uh, to pay the taxes they're expected to pay, uh, which costs, what, £25 billion each year. And that has a direct impact, of course, on you and your members, because that means your services are being slashed. Uh, it means uh, many of your members will be sacked as a result. Uh, and during an unprecedented fall in living standards, with austerity partly being justified by a lack of money, uh, that will have a huge impact on the people that you represent. And UK and Cut have very successfully forced that issue on the agenda. And that's something to take inspiration from. That's to go, actually, we haven't managed to put tax avoidance on the agenda with the sorts of strategies we've had. But these people, by taking part in the very proud and noble tradition of peaceful civil disobedience, have done exactly that. And we should take heart from that and learn from that, even if we're not prepared to do that ourselves, to occupy shops and businesses. Though I hope, of course, they would think about doing that as a way of reinvigorating their own sort of approach to politics. What you're doing is inspirational and, and, and will push issues on the agenda, which are otherwise ignored. But also to look at the trade unions as the biggest democratic movement in the country, representing over six million workers as they do, who are there at the front line when it comes to fighting to, you know, for people to have decent wages they can live on, to fight against unscrupulous bosses who treat their workers uh, in the most terrible way possible. Uh, that trade unions have organised successfully in the past for everything from the weekend to the welfare state and the NHS. These are all things which partly grow out of campaigns of trade unions. And therefore, yeah, sometimes it looks a bit bureaucratic or a bit slow or or the process, the internal process of trade unions seems a bit just a bit dull and a bit grey and trade unions have to come a long way still in terms of representing women and BME people, for example, and making sure they're actually representative of society. Uh, but they have achieved huge gains and they're your allies and you should see them as your allies. And trade unions have backed many of those campaigns like UK and Cult, which they've been very active in supporting.